We back, getting the car fixed. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go get some coffee. He's gonna fix the car. He just told me some more stuff that's wrong with it, but I already knew that <laughs> stuff was wrong with it, so it's not a big deal, we're all good. Uh, we're gonna get the car fixed in like an hour, hour and a half. We're gonna roll out to the baseball game. We're gonna eat some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. We're just waiting on a, a car to come pick us up because we, we ball like that and uh, we get cars to come pick us up wherever we want. And then we're gonna go get some coffee. Ballpark burgers, boy. With onions. With onions. It was quite the adventure to get in here. We showed up a little bit late because of uh, Nate and not my car. And then... Yeah, I guess so. That'd be cool. <laughs> we had to park like half a mile away. And then when we got... We walked all the way here. I get up to the stadium. Uh, start going through security and they tell me I can't bring a tripod in. And I was like, it's just a tripod. They're like, no, can't bring it in. Policy. So I was like, alright. They came in, I ran all the way back to the car. Well, walked slowly back to the car. Uh, put the tripod away. Yes! Napkins. Um, and then had to walk all the way back. So I walked like a mile and a half just to get in here. But then we finally got in here. We had seats right up close. And now we're enjoying some nice juicy burgers. It's actually a little bit better than I was expecting. So yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10, would do again. Heck yeah. Six o'clock, we should stop for dinner. We're still near Tampa. Yo, we hit up the best dinner spot in town. It's freaking Costco Wholesale. I think we spent 11 bucks. Got enough <laughs> food to feed two guys. Which is it's a lot of food. Pizza, chicken bakes, sandwiches. It was freaking dope. Uh, now we have a six hour drive. So we're gonna show up to the hotel about midnight and look really odd rolling up that late. Let's do it. Boy, what a day. What a day and a half. So we are just under four hours away from Savannah. Finally on our way there. Uh, what a day in Tampa, guys. It all started at like 8 o'clock this morning when we got up and, and took the car to the shop. Fantastic mechanic. Can't go on enough about how awesome that guy was. Uh, but then the car wasn't 100% fixed and he was like, you just need a fuel injector. And I was like, that sounds really simple. He's like, it is really simple. And I was like, great. That's what it sounded like. And he showed me what it looked like and how to put it in there and like exactly everything I needed to do to fix my car. And he was like, just go buy one somewhere and put it in there. And I was like, cool, two thumbs up. So we drove to an auto zone. First of all, I was in line for like 20 minutes in this freaking auto zone. So I finally get up to the counter uh, and I was like, hey, I need a fuel injector for my car. And the guy was like, looked it up and he's like, okay, we don't have any. And I was like, okay, I also need an air filter. So I was like, all right, I'll just get the air filter. So I buy the air filter. My card like got declined four times in a row before it got accepted. Anyway, that's like a small little speed bump. So back to the fuel injector, he's like, we don't have it, but uh, this other store does. And I was like, okay. Um, so we get in the car. I don't remember, did we go to the next store right then or did we just go? No, yeah, we get, oh no, we started, we were like, you know what, we'll just go to the baseball game. At this point, it's already like 11.30, 12 o'clock. So we're like, we'll just drive to the baseball game because it's like 40 minutes away and it starts at one. So we start driving and then there's like all these auto shops, like Pet Boys and uh, Advanced Auto Parts and all these things on the road. So we're like, you know what, let's, let's just, I'm gonna hop in one and see if they have a park. I did that at two different stores. I went to a Pet Boys and another Auto Zone. Neither of them had the part I was looking for. So it's three stores now so far. So we go to the game, then we get to the game and there's no parking. So we find 
free parking like a little over half a mile away and so we go walk all the way to the game i get up to the security i take all the stuff out of my pockets i start walking through security and the old lady that's running it looks at me and she goes oh sorry you can't take tripods in i was like you can't take a tripod in and i'm not talking about like big tripod i'm talking about the little what's it called a gorilla tripod gorilla pod, gorilla pod. it's just like it's one of the thing all the vloggers all the cool vloggers use the little alien leg looking things and I was like this thing could fold up and fit in my pocket and I can't take it into the game and she's like nope can't go in so I had to take the tripod go the mile back or a half a mile back to the car and then turn around and go the half mile back to the stadium took me like 25 minutes got all my steps in though freaking you know not getting fat on this vacation finally get into the game get into the game and Nate's data has been turned off because somebody messed up at his phone company so we had to get that all straightened out then we finally go and sit down and we had incredible seats game was fantastic it was awesome leave the game still need to go get this part for my car so I call one auto zone and I'm like hey I need this part and they were like okay we don't have it and I was like shoot okay and they're like but this other store does and I was like okay so I called that store and I was like hey I just was told that you guys have this part and they were like yeah we got the part and I was like dope I'm on my way so we start driving we get to that out of the zone I walk through the door walk up to the counter and I'm like hey I'm looking for this part and the guy pulls it up on the computer and goes huh we don't have it and I was like well I called the store and he was like no 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 no, it's not this store it's the store down the street and I was like down the street he's like yeah down the street on the left it's freaking traffic at this point. It's like 4.45. Took us almost half an hour to drive two miles down the street. We get to that auto zone. I walk in. I walk up to the counter. And I'm like, hey, I'm just looking for this piece. <laughs> this guy pulls it up on the computer and goes, well, it's not at this store. It's at the other store. And I was like, no, 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 no. They just sent me to this store. And so he's like, okay, what the heck? He cuts them on the phone. Literally, I'm not even kidding. This is what this guy said on the phone. I'm standing two feet from him. He goes, what the heck are you guys doing sending this boy down here when the part is on your computer it's in your store i was like whoa shoot this guy's pissed <laughs> but he like and he's like talking to the dude on the phone he ends up yelling at the guy to just like go get the part off the shelf so the guy finally does it and he says okay don't let go of the part till this boy gets over there he kept calling me boy which was weird but he's like don't don't let go of the part till the boy gets there and he goes he hangs up the phone and he goes all right they have the part in their hands and i was like you're sure and he's like yeah I promise I was like okay so I get back in the car drive all the way back up the road walk in minutes. there's another 15 minutes back up the road walk in and uh, the old guy the old guy I dealt with before sitting there and he goes come here let me show you this and I was like okay and he goes and it, they said this part is a 2323 B that's what this part is on my computer and he like types on the computer as old people do uh, and he looks it up and he goes, it's a 2627D. That's that's what I see, not this. This wasn't in our, this isn't in our, in our computer or whatever. And I was like, well, you selected the wrong engine type for my car because there's three different engine types. And he goes, oh yeah, no, I just guessed. And I was like, so you didn't ask me what engine type my car was, you just guessed? And he goes, oh, I'm sorry about that. And I was like, okay, just, I need the part. So I bought the part. He gave me like, a, he gave me $7 off, which was nice, but at the same time, I, wasted an hour of my life going back and up back and down up and down up this road geez and we finally left Tampa um, so it was a good time and we're gonna get in pretty late to, to Savannah but I just had to get you know all that off my chest the, the turmoil of, of getting my car fixed but it's running really smooth now it's, it's great I freaking love it um, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna put that part in I'm gonna put my new air filter in uh, it's gonna run like a freaking dream but I think for now I think for now we're going to close this out because I really don't foresee anything else happening in the next <laughs> what I, say that. I know <laughs> let's, let's hope nothing happens between now and uh, Savannah but literally nothing is going to play yeah nothing has happened so far as we thought it would on this trip but that's what makes a good trip because then we have memories I think I think I yeah anyway so we're just gonna we're just gonna end it with that beautiful non-existent sunset it's just clouds oh, it's sitting